I don't think we did. Yeah, I think we just got slowly picked off. We got first pick and everything, and then everyone just kind of <laughs> fucking backed off to fuck knows where. It's like, wah, wah, I'm doing this. I got the first kill. Why didn't you kill him? Wah, wah. All I did was press right click and punch someone into a wall. Oh, I'm such a super gamer. Wah. This person's tilted. He should not be playing Overwatch anymore, but he's, he, he's addicted. So he just keeps coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Overanalyzed, our glorious Overwatch coaching series. And today we're going to take a look at a D.Va player, but I'm not going to read the email out. You guys can probably guess by the title of this video that something, well, potentially spicy is going to happen because what I am reading here is quite shocking, right? But we're going to take a look at D.Va and we're going to see what happens. Holy hell. All right, guys, let's do it. So this is, you guys can see, it's a 2300 and 63 rated match. Uh, it's gold, platinum sort of border. Um, and the player says that they're normally low gold, around 2,235. They want to try and get into platinum, but they have problems, and we're going to try and work that out. Okay, cool. So, I, I mean, if the email is to be believed here, let me just pause this. If the email is to be believed here, we're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys know, I don't watch these clips before I do them because i think there's more fun in just actually kind of doing it live i do check to make sure the video quality is okay and so we know it's okay but yeah let's do it <laughs> and remember if you want to send a video clip in for consideration to appear on this show then follow the instructions that have been on the screen so first thing we're going to take a look at here is uh, just the, the general team comp here um we've we've sort of got a problem here with this tank line we don't have a barrier and this is very much a barrier centric meta now I know the meta doesn't necessarily matter. You should generally play the heroes that you're comfortable with, especially at this type of level. And you could argue for most levels of the game, and you could argue that's what people do anyway, so who cares? But if we don't have a barrier on this map, I mean, the way to look at it is to think of it, you know, map-specific meta, right? What could you do as a player on Lijiang Control Center, which we know is going to be very tight. There's a lot of areas where you can get sectioned off. It's going to be a front sort of face up battle with the enemy if the enemy have got a barrier tank and we do not we lose because we do not have a barrier tank because their dps will be able to access all of our team because these two tanks are not capable of protecting a team because they don't have a barrier okay so little things like that anyway you're asking you're saying we should get a shield which is true we should get a shield and i guess i could stop the video literally right now and say why are you not playing a shield tank I know it's a D.Va overanalyzed. I know you want to play D.Va. But without a shield tank? Okay, so... Uh, Cock. I'm just going to call it him because that's what his name is. Said, uh, now nah, we call him. No need for the lineup we have. But... Ah, there's every need. Like, the... Ooh, ooh. Right, what we need... Blizzard, what you need to do is make a, 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 a thing which... As the map's loading in, it says, play this comp because of this, right? Or something. Or a better tutorial for the game. I don't know. But I don't know where people get this in their head. Like, you absolutely need a barrier tank for this map. You you don't have one, you lose. You need a Reinhardt, you need an Orisa or a Sigma. If you don't have them, you're just so open, your backline is going to get obliterated. And this is what I... Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, Overwatch is a simple game. I'm, I'm, I'm literally having a meltdown. It's a simple game. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> Come on. Okay, all right, so. Every wrecking ball. Cool. They've got a wrecking ball. Okay, so they've got a Reinhardt, and I was waiting for this. They've got a big bad Reinhardt. Actually, you've had his fire strike. Do like that. This is a problem for us now because he's just going to sit there with his barrier, and we're not really going to be able to get through it. And also, I really want to touch on. It looks like they've got a Sim. Yeah, I can see Sim turrets. Okay, so. Well, well yeah, that Sim's over there somewhere. That's a turret. I've seen the orbs coming through earlier. So. The issue with D.Va, and why we're not seeing a lot of D.Va right now in the game, is there's a lot of things out there which just mess D.Va up completely. One of them being Sim. Sim, even though she's been nerfed, is still mega, mega, mega powerful. And the nerf really is not that huge for Sim. She will laser the hell out of you. You can't do anything to stop her just beaming you down. It, it, you're just going to get annihilated. And there's other things like Reaper really good against you. Doomfist is hilariously good against D.Va. Okay, so we're sort of... Okay, our Doomfist has got a kill there, which is fine, but we sort of went on to the point. We always talk about this, don't we, in Overanalyze? What's the plan? What are we looking to do? We went on to the point 
I guess because we're, we're, we think we're the tank, we're the front line, we're going to go on to the point, that's cool. We turn around, bit of defense matrix, okay, that's cool. Um, we've got a Moira Orb bouncing around, which we didn't really eat, which probably we should have ate. We did eat the Fire Strike, though, so that's good. Um, and it's just become really disorganized. Looks like we've identified a low HP Lucio, and we've dived into the back line, trying to do damage. Wrecking Ball is pretty much out now. Late on the DM for the fight, mate. Okay, our Doomfist is dead. We're, we're basically, the fight's over now, right? We're not actually contributing too much value in this fight. So we didn't do, there's a couple of like golden rules with D.Va. How do you want to play it, right? Are you going to peel for your back line? Now, what I mean by that is you use your defense matrix onto your, let's go full screen. Use your defense matrix on your supports to keep them alive when they're getting harassed. This was a tactic you'd see a lot back when Tracer was meta because Tracer would try and get in and kill the Zen. The D.Va would put the DM over the, the Zen to keep him alive while the Zen kills the Tracer. We don't see that too much now, but you have to still think like that. You are still highly mobile as a tank. You've got Defense Matrix, which can pretty much absorb almost all of the damage in the game, unless it's beam-related damage, and uh, or like, you know, from like Sigma's Ultimate, for example. Um, you need to focus on trying to keep your supports alive, but if you're not playing that, then you're playing aggressive aggro dive style. Now, the argument here is we do have a Hammond, so you and the Hammond really should just be smashing the same target. In theory, you could just go straight into their backline, kill their backline, and get out. Of course, our backline is hilariously exposed while this happens, so... Here we go. Here we go. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Here we go. The, the, you guys have seen this in the title of the video, so you know we're about to get a toxic treat in this video. Because the description in this email I've been sent, it's bad. It's really bad. So, it's the Doomfist. What a shock. And there's Sim. It's like, wah, wah, I'm doing this. I got the first kill. Why didn't you kill him? Wah, wah. All I did was press right, click and punch someone into a wall. Oh, I'm such a super gamer. Wah. This person's tilted. He should not be playing Overwatch anymore. But he's, he, he's addicted. So he just keeps coming back. Maybe he calms down. But I don't think he does based off the email. I'm not a good dude. Right. Okay, so here... This, again, is the issue with not having a barrier tank. How do we push through here without taking loads of spam damage? They've got a Symmetra. They've got an Ash. These heroes are going to spam us from range, and we can't really do much against that. Yeah, we can DM it, but it's going to burn our DM. Look at, our, look at the DM bar here. We literally pop that DM, and it's, it's almost gone. Right Now, rightfully so. We get the Fire Strike. That stops Reinhardt getting his ultimate charge. That's a big win. Uh, and we get one of the Sim Orbs, but the Sim Orbs are just going to keep coming. So now, we've, well, yeah, there you go. There's a fire strike hit us again because we couldn't stop it. Now, we go, the problem here is we're going into a fight with nothing, absolutely nothing, to stop the enemy from smashing us in. And you have got to seriously sit down and ask yourself this. Everybody needs to do this. We're all guilty of doing it. We all want to play the heroes we want to play, even with roll lock in the game. How do you win this situation? What do you do here to win? What is the plan? What is the move? We have no barrier tank. You cannot keep playing D.Va here. We will not be able to push onto the point unless something absolutely extraordinary happens. They have a brilliant position. We need the Reinhardt barrier. We need an Orisa barrier or at least a Sigma barrier. So we should be thinking as a player, do I want to just play D.Va or do I want to win this game? Now, I think the idealistic approach to Overwatch has always been, hey, I want to do anything to win the game. But that never really turns out that way. People want to play the heroes they want to play. So we're in a difficult position here because of our hero selection. So let's see what happens. I'll be surprised if we... Because we're taking so much spam here. Reinhardt's probably close to his ult on the enemy team. He's coming deep. He's swinging like a champ. Our Doomfist has got a kill. And our McCree's got a kill. Their Sim gets a kill. See, here, we're not actually achieving anything, are we, here? Because we're firing into a Sims barrier. Like, we, we that barrier is 5,000 hit points. We're not going to burn it through. I think the only way you can burn that barrier down is if Hog ults into it, point-blank range, and everybody fires at it. If you're not doing that, or you've got, like, a damage-boosted Bastion drilling it, you're just not going to be able to get through that barrier. So, in that example there, total waste of your, your abilities. Okay. Push in, boys. We have He's right. He's about to the shadow. What a time to pause. He's right. The, the toxic Doomfist, if he is the toxic guy, I don't know if he is, um, but he sounds like he is. Um, he's right, right? You've got two picks. We should be going. The team should just be going. He's one HP. That right eye is one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to go. He is going to go nuclear. This, this Doomfist is going to lose his mind now. 
Yeah, they use slow support ult. We just gotta get out. We're, we're dead. Okay, Here we go. Shield tank. If we're not gonna be able to push in without a shield tank, then just switch to shield tank now. Because if no one wants to fucking push in without one, then we can't just sit here. We keep on getting picks and then just sit. Okay, so remember, this is the guy at the start of the game who said, "Yeah, it's fine. We've got. It's fine. Our comp's fine." And then now he's like, "No, we need a shield tank." He's right in what he's saying now. He's, he's learned the error of his ways. The problem is, guys, right? This dude is... The way he's delivering the message is not great. <laughs> the way he's delivering the message makes you want to say, F you, mate, and I'm going to leave voice comms, right? Yeah. We've got Diva Bomb here. We're going to go for a YOLO. Yeet the bomb in. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, we're, we're gonna watch this again. This is a literal yeet of a bomb. I don't know what the enemy team are doing here. They're Reinhardt's alive, isn't he? Who even dies here? I can see the sim. What are they? Do? There's the sim, the Lucio. They, they walked into it. They walked. In. Ah! Right, we gotta talk about this because this is this is a great example of. It's. Doing something which is a bad habit and wrong, but it works out so you think it's good and it's right. It's not. It really isn't. What you've done there is the fight is over. They've got the advantage and we've just like yeeted our bomb. It's like, whatever. We'll chuck the bomb in. It's fine. We'll go for it. And it's got three kills. So now you're like, oh, yeah, look at me. Check me out. Oh, yeah, I'm the big man. I'm the big man. It's like, um, no, you just threw your bomb away. A good team would have just, the Reinhardt would have just been like that. Hmm. If they had a Sigma, it would have went, hmm. If they had a brain, they would have been hmm, around the corner. So doing this kind of thing, yeeting bombs, will just like, will lose the fight. Like a, a really simple thing to do with it is if a fight engages, if their Reinhardt comes into our, like if he charges in crazy and we've got our bomb, we could launch our bomb then because we know Reinhardt's not there. That's more of a, a logical, tactical thing to do instead of just purely yeeting the bomb, which is, yeah. Nice. But it worked, so. Are we going to move in with that one now? Okay, we need to think about target priority, which I haven't spoke about much in this video yet. Is spamming the barrier the right thing to do? No, it isn't, right? We need to get onto a target and remove them from the game. Yes. We don't really want Moira. We don't want to know about Moira. We're going to lose this fight again. He's about to go nuclear, isn't he? And... and, and Boys, <laughs> you see what I mean? How we still lost a three-person pick fight? We don't. We don't. Thank you, Mercy. Right, we need to at least. What, what the hell happened here? If you get three picks, you should win the fight, right? Doomfist is right. But I don't know what the hell has happened here. This is uh, interesting. Right, the yeet bomb goes in. Look, Sim's safe there. She's even safe where she is right now. And she just is like, no, nah, I'll die. I think I'll die. What are you doing, Sim? Anyway. <laughs> right, three kills. They're, they're both supports and one of their DPS dead, right? We so we're going in now. Right, they've got a Hammond rolling around the point. They've got an Ash. Okay, and what we do is we waste a bit of time there shooting the, the, the tank. Uh, the Reinhardt barrier. Okay, not ideal. I heard the Ash. She was in the, the the sort of server room, whatever you want to call it, the white room. She was over there. You could have jumped onto her, right? That would have probably been the better thing to do because it takes the DPS out of the game. However, shooting the barrier there, not great. We're sort of in no man's land. But then, to be honest, I think you sort of... This is kind of... This here is okay. We chase the Reinhardt down and kill him. This is what I would have done. I would have been... I just would have... I wouldn't have fired at his barrier. I would have just run at him and just killed him because what's he going to do, Right. Yeah, he could maybe charge us or something crazy, but you just want to get through his barrier and kill him. It's fine. But having said that, the first target would have been the Ash, not this. But we kill this and it's fine, right? So think about it. If we killed the Ash, they're not using Bob. I can hear Bob going off now, which is not great, which is probably going to turn the fight. They have invested their Hammond Ultimate, which is obviously a pain up the arse on control, especially on this point, because it's going to be all over the point. Bob gets a kill. Hammond gets a kill with his Ultimate. And it's unlucky. It's unlucky. It's. Holy fuck, boys. You see what I mean? How we still lost a three person pick fight. But what he's not taking into account is they did invest two ultimates. Into that, we invested one and they they won. But really, with three picks, you should have won. <laughs> hey, man, we don't need your but Mercy's picks. right, right? This guy is not helping anyone. Please. But I understand his frustration. But it's like, chill, man. Just chill. Just chill. Okay, so 
the problem we've got is we are using Diva as the main frontline tank, and, and she just isn't. She just is. It, it would be like using Hog as the main frontline tank or Hammond. You have no ability. Well, Diva's the best selection out of those three tanks because she does have defense matrix, which can eat projectiles. But beyond that, she you are not a frontline tank, and you can't stop your team. So Doomfist dead, and we're dead. Switch to a shield tank if we're going to keep on getting shattered like that. Switch. I mean, see, the thing is, yeah, uh, the thing here, right, is I want you to press tab again. Come on, press tab again. Press tab again. Bring the score. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So, so. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up, Doomfist. Come on, die, 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 die. I've got a few points I want to make here, guys. Beautiful points as well. Okay. Okay, right. First point I want to make is the very top of the video, I identified we needed a barrier tank just based off the map that we've got. When you're playing the tanks in this game, in roll queue, you have to have a main tank. Right, you cannot have two off tanks. If you do have two off tanks, it will be very difficult to win. It's still winnable, but it's very, very difficult, especially if you come against a better tank line comp. It's not about skill. It isn't like, wow, this guy's absolutely outplaying us. Actually, what's happening is, and Doomfist did highlight this, he can just shatter whoever he likes because nothing on this team can block his shatter. He can just blast your whole team and you're dead. So every time he gets his ultimate, it's a free team fight win. This is their off tank. It can do whatever the hell it likes. Uh, actually, I'm so, it's sort of behind me, but it's Hammond, right? I, I just basically drew a squiggly line. It means nothing, but I drew it, enjoy it, and that's all I ask. He can do whatever he likes, right? It's cool for him. You two guys have got a major problem. Your Hammond is probably still playing like brain dead, doing whatever the hell he likes. You, though, are, well, you are beat. This is a terrible diagram. But what I'm sort of trying to say is here, this absolutely annihilates you. You cannot beat that, so you need to match that or play something which can deal with it. So you, you, your options are essentially are Reinhardt himself, uh, Sigma, uh, but I'd still prefer the Rhine over the Sigma here, or the final one would be Orissa. I'd go Orissa here or Reinhardt. It, honestly, it'd be a, to a flip up between those two. I'd kind of be okay with them. I probably would be more inclined to go Orissa just because, uh, well, I've, I'm but it's behind me again. I've got this terrible habit of drawing behind me. I, it's, it's an R. This here is the letter R for Reinhardt. <laughs> um, but I'd be more inclined for Orissa here just because Holt can deal with Hammond and, and annoy him. Well, not deal with him totally, but it can annoy him. So yeah, it's it's an unfortunate situation where we've got a team which is just getting beat because the enemy team have got a better comp, right? It's not because of skill. And this is the other thing I wanted to highlight here. It's not because, oh, look at me, I've got all the golds. You know, what the hell is our DPS doing? What are they doing? This is a question you see a lot. I see this a lot in my games. It's like, oh my God, I'm gold damage. I'm a tank. What is the DPS doing? Well, DPS thrives on the tanks giving them space. If the tank's not doing their job, DPS get destroyed. What happens to DPS, and actually Scott Mercer, one of the devs, I think he's, he basically designs the, the matchmaking system. Um, he did say a lot of DPS players are taking a lot of heat. And it's... It's it, it's just because it's DPS. It's like, we must be losing because our DPS is so bad. And to be fair, this cock guy is not helping himself because he's literally moaning as well. So he's making it worse and worse and worse. Mercy's getting angry at him. It's it's like, this is just a recipe for absolute Overwatch disaster. There's not one, one fault here. Everybody's to blame. And then at the end, we get a swap to a Winston. The worst barrier tank for this map, really. Can we get like an actual shield tank now? Like a Ryan or Rissa or something? I do like this purple color, by the way, actually. It's really nice. Yeah, I can do your Ryan. Oh. But we're gonna have to kill the Sim pretty quick. Okay, Sim will burn barriers fairly quick, but it's still a 2000 HP barrier. What kills me is this guy who was playing Hammond, but he he could have played Reinhardt last round. Reaper is not the right pick for Sam McCree. 
I don't know what he said. I don't care what he said. Reaper's not the right... No, did you say McCree's not the right pick? Okay, right. Let's talk about us working... With, now we've got a tank line, we can actually work with this. So, I like the defense matrix first to try and eat their fire strike. It's cool. The Hammond comes in. Right, so he... He now... We should be shouting out Reinhardt's deep. We should kill that Reinhardt. He is way out of position. Or we can just solo him. We can kill him. Cool. Massive kill. Huge result. That's awesome. Yeah, this guy needs to calm down. One thing we need to learn as well, and this guy needs to learn, and it's mental. Kill the enemy team. It doesn't matter about pushing in. It doesn't matter about being on the point. If you kill the enemy team, you take control of the point, right? Here, we've killed two of their team. Their main tank was suicidal. He charged in, and we've killed one of their supports. We win. We win. We win. We don't have to scream and go push in, push in. Because all that's going to do is make people angry. Uh oh. The turrets above us. We're taking. What are we doing? What are we doing? Never de mech yourself like that. What the hell? Look at this. What, watch the. Watch the, the it, you're watching this back now. Yeah. Look how long you spend in there taking damage pointlessly. Watch this. So, Lucio. We're just like, oh, whatever. We'll ignore the Lucio. Actually, we should have just went after him and killed him, right? Our team are behind us. We could have killed him. Instead, we're like, there's Sim. Hmm. Sim. What does Sim do? Well, Sim's actually really good against me. So I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what. I'll defense Matrix her. Okay, this is going to eat. I think she's, yeah, she fires alternate fire. We eat that. Okay. But how are we going to kill this Sim before it kills us, right? And what's probably on the point? Well, we know the turrets are on the point because we've just died to it. But it's odds on the turrets will be there because that's what Sim wants to do, set up on the point. So we walk in. Defense Matrix, again, is not going to stop this damage. We then walk forward here. We're taking damage. We're like, holy God, we're taking a massive load of damage. We've got one second cooldown left. You can see it down there. There, this way. Why is it mirrored? It's down there. Actually, it's there on my screen. But it's down there, right? We need to get out of here. We just need to boost straight out. Watch. It's up. We're not boosting. We boost at her and lose our mech. We should have just got out of that. We had so much time to get out and we didn't. Charging the line. Okay. okay. All right. So there is like sometimes. We can't just keep all following one ball. You know what I mean? Here's the other thing though, right? With this, right? I, I honestly like. F these guys. This guy, whatever. I just mute him and get rid of him and not listen to him. Interacting with him like that, telling him to chill, like, do chill out, is only going to trigger him and tilt this guy even more. Because who are you to tell me what to do? Who do you think you are? You come into my game and you tell me after you've not been playing a barrier tank, after you've been throwing the game, after I've been getting picks every single time. You see where I'm going with this, right? That's what these players are like. You can't do that. So you just have to think, okay, this guy is clearly triggered out of his mind, thinks he's the best thing since sliced bread, when actually he isn't, but whatever he thinks he is. If we tell him to calm down, he is going to go absolutely nuclear and it's going to be bad, like bad. Anyway, we need to get our mech back. So we just spamming, spam the, the chokes, try and get our mech back. Um, you see a lot of pro diva players kill themselves. And we should actually talk about this a little bit. But you'll see a lot of pro diva players kill themselves. Um, they only do that if it's... Uh, so if half of your team were dead and the enemy team were all dead, right? There'd be a window of opportunity there if you all died really fast together for you to kill yourself to get your mech back quicker and then come back to the point. Thing that happens to Diva is when she's not in her mech, she is absolutely useless. There is no point really ever using the baby Diva. Yeah, sure, you can get some cheeky long range damage or stuff like that, but it's never, you want to be in the mech, right? If you're not in the mech, you're useless. So you need to get the mech back as fast as possible. And there's always this sort of dichotomy of like, do I die? Do I try and spam to try and get my mech back? You have to read each situation as it comes along. Also, as well, if the enemy team de mech you and you are against the Diva, don't kill the Diva. Leave the Diva. Let that Diva. Do whatever she likes because she is going to do absolutely nothing. <coughs> Highly unlikely that she's going to get a kill or even do anything, right? The longer she's out of a mech, the better for you. And of course, if you can stagger her and then kill her really late, that's super good. Okay. Whoa. I they just ran up to us and killed us. So here, here is like where we need to talk again about the selection of D.Va because this is what Overwatch is like. Overwatch is a really frustrating game. And actually, I, in the sense of I'll get onto this in a second, but it's really frustrating that you can't 
play the heroes you want to play. I had a, a really good couple of conversations with some guys who've played Overwatch in the past, um, you know, but have maybe not played it for six or seven months a couple of days ago. And it's really interesting. I'm like, guys, why have you stopped playing Overwatch? And it was almost certainly because or almost all of the time because the hero they played became not effective or wasn't meta or there was an issue with the hero. What we're looking at here is a classical case of that. The enemy team are running a comp which beats your hero. You can still make it work, right? You can always make a hero work, but you are fighting an uphill battle here. You should swap your hero, yeah? You should play Sigma. You should play even an Orisa, a Roadhog. Playing this this diva, we're not getting any kind of credible value, and all we're doing is dying to the sim over and over again. The enemy team, when they engage us, we don't really have any options. We can't really do anything. We're not really able to prevent damage coming in. If they're Reinhardt swinging, we're not stopping that. Symmetra's beaming, we're not stopping that. A turret to firing, we're not stopping that. All of these issues we've got to deal with, and we just we are not the right hero for the for the for, for what the enemy team have got. Why didn't we defense matrix that? Always, always try and eat the fire strike. Because what you've got is the Reinhardt versus Reinhardt battle. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, you were between a rock and a, and a load of mines there. It was unlucky. <laughs> it was a nice ultimate by their Hammond. Um, but you want to try and eat the enemy Reinhardt's fire strike, especially if it's a Rhine versus Rhine battle. Because that's his primary way of charging his ultimate. Unless he's involved in a lot of melee fights. Which I'm telling you right now, he's got his ultimate available. We should have just done this. We didn't have to tell the guy to shut up, though. We should have just done this anyway. Okay, now, now we're really triggered, and we're just going in into a sim nest. Anyone should kill the turrets, right? If you can see a turret, shoot a turret. Oh man. One monkey, can you get a monkey? So what we've got there, haven't we, is what we've got there, guys, is somebody asking Caminator saying, Could you play a monkey? Now I think this is because he wants the turrets to be killed. Um and then your immediate response is to spam. Actually, I've got my ultimate ready. I've got my big diva bomb. I'm going to kill them all with a diva bomb. Now, I might be about to eat my words here, but I don't think you're going to kill anyone with your diva bomb. And really, you shouldn't base your hero selection on because I've got my ultimate coming up. You need to change to beat what the enemy have got. And we've just not done that throughout the whole series. I think he's saying after his selfish Yeah, mercy he is. Okay. He's just going to yeet. You're just going to yeet this in. But this is like last fight territory we're getting into now. No, no, no. This is just move. like... Like your attitude. <laughs> Doomfist still going off. <laughs> Cock, what a name as well. Okay, man. I wish I was standing behind you as you were playing this game because you could have done so much better by swapping the hero um, once we realized what the enemy team have got. Um, but yeah, there was a ton of mistakes. But the main issue, the main theme of that video was literally we... That was my phone. The main theme of this video was we engaged with a toxic troll. Um, well, I don't think that guy was too... I don't think he was a troll, but I think he was just sort of like... Obviously, a lot of things went wrong and he wanted answers, but the way he was trying to get the answers, he's probably had problems in the last couple of games he's played. So it's the inevitable Overwatch tilt, which was building up. And it's like an unfortunate series of events. And yeah, you made it worse. You didn't really help. Mercy on our team tried to help, which was pretty, I think she did a good job there. But it just was like, ooh, it was a really frustrating game to watch. That's one of those games where you might think to yourself, what the hell could I have done? I couldn't have done anything there. It wasn't my fault. I got, I did this. I got a triple kill with my bomb. But actually, that bomb was totally yeeted. And um, we didn't really do anything apart from that. Like, we literally contributed nothing. Yes, we had gold limbs. Yes, we had gold damage. But that's bad because it was only seven limbs. And uh, we didn't enable our DPS to do what they needed to do. 
Guys, I've been Salo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. That helps an absolute ton. And remember, if you want to send a video clip in for consideration to appear on this series, then follow the instructions that have been on the screen. All right, guys, I'm Salo, so you can follow me on Twitter, like I said, which is at Salosa. It's also at Salosa on Instagram. And uh, I've probably said that twice. I don't know. I'm reeling from this video. Reeling from it, guys. All right. Anyway, whew, I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.